everybody. This is going to be my second video of today. If you guys haven't seen the video for the Baby Bearded Dragons for sale, the Sandfire Orange Cross uh, Bearded Dragon Babies, uh, go ahead and watch it. I'm going to make a video response to this video. They're $60 each plus shipping and discounts available for more than one. They're really nice looking. There's five of them available. So uh, let me know if you guys are interested. I'll post the video on the bottom. This is going to be the room tour. Uh, a lot of people have wanted to see, you know, the room and, you know, the racks. I mean, I, you guys can see the room, but, and also want to know what's going on. Uh, and these racks over here, uh, you know, they're dirty, you know, cleaning days on Thursday. Uh, there's nothing in these racks, but on these two on top. And in here I have the, the possible het pied females. Uh... Other than that, this rack is completely empty. There's a thermostat. All right, uh, you guys have seen the bowl file cages, and right now uh, I just turned the lights on, but the lights were off for the Euromastics. But just so you guys can see inside, I finally got the other cage in. Uh, these cages are awesome. The males up here, the females down here. All right, so it's lights out for these guys now. There you go. All right, now uh, these bowl file cages are on top. Of a 41 quart bowl file rack, and these racks are empty. And I had and I had switched the females over, but then I decided to switch them back. Uh, it wasn't worth it, you know. What I am going to be doing is I am going to get uh, four more adult females in uh, probably sometime this week or next week. I'm going to get four adult females in and fill that rack up, and uh, that way, you know, we'll be stocked for breeding this year. Uh, and here we have the males. There's a 32 quart bowl file rack. And as you can see, here's the spider. It's really humid in there. I'm actually going to switch my substrate to aspen. I'm going, I'm not going to use a cypress mulch anymore as it's really dirty. And it's really tough to clean once you're going to clean it out. Aspen isn't as dirty. It doesn't, you know, it's not as dusty. And it's a lot, you know, simpler to use. I don't know if it's going to be cheaper, but I know it's going to be a lot more simpler to use and uh, you know it works the same for ball pythons. So here's the male spider. He's already up to breeding size and producing sperm plugs. Here's our male blanc pastel. As you can see guys, these cages are dirty. Uh, cleaning days on Thursday. Here's the male blanc pastel. He actually shed out a couple days ago. He's not losing any of that color. We'll have babies up in 2010 for him if you guys want to, you know, buy some of them. He's got some really cool colors. You can see how still how bright he is. That's class A pastel right there. Uh, down here we have our black pastel. As you can see him there, he's already breeding size too. We're going to be breeding him also this year. Here's our het pied male. In from Ben Siegel's Reptiles. He's got some real nice uh, het pie markings on him. I'm thinking of breeding him this year, but don't don't know if I will. Now let's go to the female rack, the ARS rack. It's a helix. Oh, and by the way, this rack is powered by this Ranko thermostat. As you can see, it's set on 93. I have another thermostat in here, just in case uh, anything goes wrong. I uh, ordered two thermostats. Uh, up here I have a normal 08 baby in the back. You can see she shed out. Uh, haven't really taken a look at her. Let's go take a look at her. Haven't been up here in a while. Uh, here she is. She shed out. It's a real nice snake here. She's a real nice looking normal. So let's put her there. Up here we have uh, our 08 normal female. That possible calico quote in quotations. She's just normal. I can bet money on that. All right, now let's step down from the chair. Okay. As you can see the little baby bearded dragons are chasing a fly that's flying around outside of their cage. All right, I need to get more crickets tomorrow. Here's the pinstripe. 
she's getting she's getting big uh, she's got some real nice uh, stripe on her uh, down here we have a pastel As you can see her back there chilling let's take her out she's losing some of her color but nevertheless she's still a nice pastel got some nice yellow on the sides I'm gonna breed, gonna be breeding her next year to either make some bumblebees, or we'll see what we get out of her next year. I can't say what I'm gonna do next year because I have no idea. All right, uh, up next we have our orange ghost female. She was looking like she was gonna take a snap at me. Here she is. She is. Let's just put her on the black, so you can see how nice she is. She is just an awesome. Awesome Nerdline Ghost Ball Python. I've tried to get rid of her a couple times, and she hasn't. I haven't decided to sell her. Maybe there's a reason for that. She is awesome. Okay, so there's our female Nerdline Ghost. And now we go to the normal ball pythons. Here we have my jungle female. See how nice she is. She's finally gotten some size onto her. Does not like sitting still. There she is. Looks real nice. Here's our big 2000 gram girl. You can see her there. Okay. Down here we have another girl who is in shed right now. She's probably going to shed out tonight. Uh, and down here is another girl who is also, I believe, in shed. Yeah, she's in blue. You can see her eyes are nice and blue. She's also a big girl, around 1,700, 1,800 grams. And that's about it. As in news, uh, a friend of mine has a lesser male. I uh, might be, uh, ha be getting him in in August on a breeding loan. And uh, we're going to run him through a couple females. If he, he's up to breeding size, we're definitely going to run him through a couple females and uh, get some baby lessers out of him uh, and it'll be really good you know I don't have any lessers and lessers are quite expensive so if I can breed them um, you know it'll be good for the both of us he can get some lessers I get some lessers so we'll see what happens with that and other than that uh, here's just a little the desk uh, laptop that actually broke so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that uh, the little beard dragons who is actually lights out for them so and yeah that's pretty much the room tour guys uh, let me know what you guys think I'm definitely gonna be getting in some four adult females possibly an adult uh, pastel female as well uh, and might be getting that lesser in on August on a breeding loan Marco if you're watching this there's a spot waiting for him bro right there that's where he's going there's a spot waiting for him and a lot of sexy girls Woo! alright guys so thanks for watching this video let me know what you guys think uh, let me know if there's anything you guys want to watch um, like I said if you guys are interested in any yellow Nigerian Euromastics red Nigerian Euromastics or Sudanese Euromastics anything you guys want you guys let me know I can get them for you give you a good price for them. Uh, yellow Nigerian Euromastics, you're looking about uh, 50 to 60 dollars, 50 to 75 dollars ship depending on how nice they look, uh, depending on the color, uh, but anywhere from 50 to 75 dollars ship, uh, you're looking more around like 50, 55, 60 bucks. So let me know guys. Alright, thanks for watching.